10 Practices That Enhance Spontaneous Multiplication of Churches Where pioneer church planting has resulted in several young gatherings. Teach these 10 practices through discovery Bible study. Form learners into tiny groups of 3 to 6 persons. Allow the groups between four and seven minutes to do the following. Read together an assigned text. Discuss and agree on a reply to a given query. Have one person in each group report their findings to the big group. Have them report only one idea until all the groups have reported. Activity 1. Pray to find persons of peace who open their home and networks. Form tiny groups that read together the following passages. Allow them up to seven minutes to discuss and reply to the following query. Where and who were some of the persons of peace that Jesus' apostles found? Factoid most persons of peace will be found within believers, family, friendship, and work networks. Practice 2. Train all believers to evangelize entire households and to baptize them. Form tiny groups that read these texts. Have them discuss and reply to this query. What were some main points of the original Good News message? Factoid. After you train believers, about one in five of them will implement their training. Practice 3. Strengthen the faith of new believers to persevere through persecution. Form tiny groups to read together the following texts. Have them discuss and reply to the following query. In what ways did the apostles of Jesus strengthen the faith of believers? Factoid. In most societies, folk learn best through sharing, dialogue, and discovery Bible study. Practice 4. Train workers to make disciples who obey Jesus' commandments. Form tiny groups that read together the following texts. Have them discuss and reply to the following query. Which specific commandments of Jesus did the early Christians obey from the start? Factoid. Where ministries empower for obedience, churches grow and multiply without trying. Practice 5. Train disciple makers to start and lead new cells and house churches. Form tiny groups that read together these texts. Have them discuss and reply to the following query. What were some steps that the Apostles followed to launch new churches? Factoid. The continual starting of new churches remains the best way in which to reach a population. Practice 6. Depend on the Holy Spirit to distribute speaking and serving gifts. Form tiny groups to read together these texts. Have them discuss and reply to the following query. In what ways did spiritual gifts help apostolic churches to grow and to reproduce? Factoid. Every cell or congregation possesses all that it requires to launch new cells or congregations. Practice 7. Expand branching lineages of churches and leaders that reproduce. 
form tiny groups that read together the following texts. Have them discuss and reply to the following query. What were some apostolic church planting practices, expansion, and outcomes? Factoid. Movements tend to prosper or to stagnate regardless of their theology. Practice 8. Train shepherds to coach several generations of leaders on the job. Form tiny groups to read together these texts. Have them discuss and reply to the following query. Who were some of the Apostle Paul's apprentices that he trained up and empowered? Factoid. On average, training done through extension prepares workers as well as do residential schools. Practice 9. Edit simple training materials, distributing these through coaches. Form tiny groups that read together these texts. Have them discuss and reply to the following query. What were some of the basic doctrines that the apostles taught to new churches? Factoid. Workers gladly study materials that a coach chooses to help them implement their plans. Practice 10. Track inputs and outcomes reporting to leaders who lay new plans. Form tiny groups that read together these texts. Have them discuss and reply to the following query. What were some of the inputs and outcomes that the Apostles used to track? Factoid. Every ongoing church multiplication ministry tracks its progress continuously.